California's Reparations Task Force voted Tuesday to define those who are eligible for reparations as descendants of African Americans enslaved in the U.S., or of free black people living in the country before the end of the 19th century. Much of the discussion among the task force members focused on differing interpretations of the state law that created the panel and on whether all black Californians should receive some form of reparation because of the lasting effects of slavery and the discrimination that has continued long after. After hours of tense debate, the group voted to tie reparations to lineage. This measure is about reparations for those who are harmed by chattel slavery in this country, said the Reverend. Amos Brown, a civil rights leader and vice chair of the task force. The government appointed panel took action to define who should be able to receive reparations almost 10 months into a two year process to develop a proposal for addressing slavery and discrimination. After hearing from nearly a dozen experts in genealogy and other aspects of the reparations movement, the panel voted 5 to 4 in support of the lineage-based approach. The vote marks a major milestone for the task force, but many other difficult questions lie ahead. The motion that narrowly passed defines the community of eligibility based on lineage determined by an individual being an African-American descendant of a chattel enslaved person or the descendant of a free black person living in the United States prior to the end of the 19th century. Gavin Newsom and legislative leaders appointed the task force, which comprises elected officials, civil rights leaders, attorneys and reparations experts, with a mission to study and develop reparation proposals for African Americans, with a special consideration for African Americans who are day. Secretary of State Shirley Weber, who authored the law that Newsom signed in 2020 to launch the effort, emphasized in January that providing reparations is an issue of descendancy and lineage. A slim majority of the task force interpreted that language and Weber's statements to mean that reparations should be lineage-based and go strictly to those who can trace their ancestry to the era of slavery.